Welcome to study the Bible with me. Today we are continuing from where we stopped last time. So grab your Bible and let's dig right in. Revelations chapter 5. Then I saw in the right hand of the one who was seated on the throne a scroll written on the front and back and sealed with seven seals. And I saw a powerful angel proclaiming in a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and to break its seals? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or look into it. So I began weeping bitterly because no one was found who was worthy to open the scroll or to look into it. Then one of the elders said to me, Stop weeping. Look, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, has conquered. Thus he can open the scroll and its seven seals. Then I saw, standing in the middle of the throne, and of the four living creatures, and in the middle of the elders, a lamb that appeared to have been killed. He had seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. Then he came and took the scroll from the right hand of the one who was seated on the throne. And when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders threw themselves to the ground before the lamb. Each of them had a hump and a golden and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. They were singing a new song. You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals, because you were killed. And at the cost of your own blood, you have purchased for God persons from every tribe, language, people, and nation. You have appointed them as a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they will reign on earth. Then I looked and heard the voice of many angels in a circle around the throne, as well as the living creatures and the elders. Their number was ten thousand times ten thousand, thousands times thousands, all of whom were singing in a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was killed, to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and praise. Then I heard every creature in heaven, on earth, under the earth, in the sea, and all that is in them, singing to the one seated on the throne, to the Lamb, be praised, honor, glory, and ruling power forever and ever. And the four living creatures were saying, Amen. And the elders threw themselves to the ground and worshipped. Chapter 6 I looked on when the Lamb opened one of the seven seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures saying with a thunderous voice, Come. So I looked. And here came a white horse. The one who rode it had a bow, and he was given a crown. And as a conqueror, he rode out to conquer. Then when the lamb opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature saying, Come. And another horse, very red, came out. And the one who rode it was granted permission to take peace from the earth, so that people would butcher one another. And he was given a huge sword. Then when the lamb opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature saying, Come. So I looked, and here came a black horse. The one who rode it had a balanced scale in his hand. Then I heard something like a voice from among the four living creatures saying, A quart of wheat will cost a day's pay, and three quarts of barley will cost a day's pay. But do not damage the olive oil and the wine. Then when the lamb opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature saying, Come. So I looked and here came a pale green horse. The name of the one who rode it was Death. The heads followed right behind. They were given authority over a fourth of the earth to kill its population with the sword, famine, and disease, and by the wild animals of the earth. Now when the lamp opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar souls of those who had been violently killed because of the word of God and because of the testimony they had given. They cried out with a loud voice, How long, sovereign master, holy and true, before you judge those who live on the earth and avenge our blood? Each of them was given a long white robe, and they were told to rest for a little longer, until the full number was reached of both their fellow servants and their brothers who were going to be killed, just as they had been. Then I looked when the lamp opened the sixth seal, and a huge earthquake took place. The sun became as black as sackcloth made of hair, and the full moon became blood red, and the stars in the sky fell on the earth like a fig tree, dropping its unripe figs when shaken by a fierce wind. 
the sky was split apart like a scroll being rolled up, and every mountain, island was moved from its place. Then the kings of the earth, the very important people, the generals, the rich, the powerful, and everyone, slave and free, hid themselves in the caves and among the rocks of the mountains. They said to the mountains and to the rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of the one who is seated on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb, because the great day of their wrath has come. And who is able to withstand it? Chapter 7 After this I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth, so no wind could blow on the earth, on the sea, or on any tree. Then I saw another angel ascending from the east, who had the seal of the living God. He shouted out with a loud voice to the four angels, who had been given permission to damage the earth and the sea. Do not damage the earth, or the sea, or the trees, until we have put a seal on the four heads of the servants of our God. Now I heard the number of those who were marked with a seal, one hundred and forty-four thousand, sealed from all the tribes of the people of Israel. From the tribe of Judah, 12,000 were sealed. From the tribe of Reuben, 12,000. From the tribe of Gad, 12,000. From the tribe of Asher, 12,000. From the tribe of Naphtali, 12,000. From the tribe of Manasseh, 12,000. From the tribe of Simeon, 12,000. From the tribe of Levi, 12,000. From the tribe of Ishaka, 12,000. From the tribe of Zebulun, 12,000. From the tribe of Joseph, 12,000. From the tribe of Benjamin, twelve thousand were sealed. After these things I looked, and here was an enormous crowd that no one could count, made up of persons from every nation, tribe, people, and language, standing before the throne, and before the Lamb, dressed in long white robes, and with palm branches in their hands. They were shouting out in a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God, to the one seated on the throne, and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood there in a circle around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures, and they threw themselves down with their faces to the ground before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen, praise and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and strength be to our God for ever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders asked me, These dressed in long white robes, who are they and where have they come from? So I say to him, My Lord, you know the answer. Then he said to me, These are the ones who have come out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason, they are before the throne of God, and they serve him day and night in his temple, and the ones seated on the throne will shelter them. They will never go hungry or be thirsty again and the sun will not beat down on them, nor any burning heat, because the lamp in the middle of the throne will shepherd them and lead them to the springs of living water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Chapter 8 Now when the lamp opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about half an hour. Then I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and seven trumpets were given to them. Another angel holding a golden scissor came and was stationed at the altar. A large amount of incense was given to him to offer up with the prayers of all the saints on the golden altar that is before the throne. The smoke coming from the incense along with the prayers of the saints ascending before God from the angel's hand. Then the angel took the censer, filled it with fire from the altar and threw it on the earth. And there were crashes of thunder, roaring, flashes of lightning, and an earthquake. Now the seven angels holding the seven trumpets prepared to blow them. The first angel blew his trumpet, and there was hail and fire mixed with blood, and it was thrown on the earth, so that a third of the earth was burned up, and a third of the trees were burned up, and all the green grass was burned up. Then the second angel blew his trumpet, and something like a great mountain of burning fire was thrown into the sea. A third of the sea became blood, and a third of the creatures living in the sea died, and a third of the ships were completely destroyed. Then the third angel blew his trumpet, and a huge star, burning like a torch, fell from the sky 
it landed on the third of the river and on the springs of water. Now the name of the star is Wormwood. So a third of the waters became Wormwood. And many people died from these waters because they were poisoned. Then the fourth angel blew his trumpet and a third of the sun was struck. And a third of the moon and a third of the stars. So that a third of them were darkened. And there was no light for a third of the day and for a third of the night likewise. Then I looked. And I heard an eagle flying directly overhead, proclaiming with a loud voice, Whoa, 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 to those who live on the earth because of the remaining sounds of the trumpets of the three angels who are about to blow them. We're going to be stopping here today. Next time we're going to be starting from Revelations chapter 9. I'll see you then.